Hello Year 3s and welcome to English. We are planning a uh, 13th labour of Her for Hercules um, using our mythical beast that we made last week and we wrote about. We're going to be making a story plan today and to set us off on this task we're going to be starting to have a look at our starter starting the starter using time conjunctions these are really useful in, um, in in our writing to join up ideas and move story forward gives more information to um, the reader and it can help you to organize the uh, the order that something the things that the events are happening in um, they're useful in that they can also make your sentences um, change their uh, their structure so they can make them sound less um, repetitive so it's really useful you can use them at the beginning of a sentence you can also have a go today at using one in the middle of a sentence we used to put them at the beginning or using a, um, a, a, a conjunction in the middle perhaps to like a to, to to put two clauses together but actually you can use time conjunctions in this way which is really useful so for instance when this is the conjunction that's being used in the sentence when the dog had settled in his basket he began to snore gently you can change that to the middle of a sentence the dog began to snore loudly when he had settled in his basket and it can just make a change to uh, that sort of, you know that opening being the same very similar so Another example, before she left for school, she brushed her teeth. She brushed her teeth before she left for school. So it's, again, it's using those phrases and breaking them up um, and, and joining them together, breaking them up, joining together um, with your conjunctions. So there's some other uh, ones here, which I think would be really good to use um, in your plans today. You can put any of these in, you can magpie these. And um, there's a time conjunction here um, that that links to as long as as long as he was uh, as long as he was tasked to do that he would carry on and as soon as he reached there he heard the awful cries of the victims um, before you could use by the time now that once um, we don't want once upon a time so today that wouldn't be right because that would really be for a fairy tale traditional story we've got after since until okay and when whenever and while so there's some quite meaty ones there for you to have a go at and here's your starter so you're going to connect the phrases while showing the passing of time so you've got four examples here and you're going to write in the most appropriate missing time conjunction they need to be in the right place because they don't really work without them being in the right place and some of them you might think oh that doesn't sound too bad but trust me you're going to need to get them all in the right place because i had a quite a good go with this actually getting them absolutely so they had to be spot on for you okay so pause the video and have a go at those you can put those bold words into the right place in the sentences so I'm going to restart you now with the answers and you've got when you arrive dinner will be ready she waved to me as she drove away his little brother was in bed by are you in bed by a certain time oh it's grim isn't it when you're young uh, I'm a bit made to go to bed. I've got a bedtime. Uh, Dave, Dave stayed at our house until it was dark. Okay, until. All right. Uh, so we're going to create this story mountain today. And there's Herc. Woo, your, today your, your story mountain plan is going to be created for your own, very own version of it. You can go anywhere you like, as long as it's nature and Greece. You can go to any terrain. You can go to the mountains, to the lake, to the coast to the um to the you know temples in the big city it's got to be ancient greece um but yeah you can take him anywhere in in his quest to find uh, and kill whatever creature or steal something from him um and return to king yuri which is where he's um where he's been or who who has tasked him to do this 13th labor you could use a clear page don't have to put your full sentences today we're not writing the actual story so don't write it today because that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow don't write the myth today and then you can put in some notes 
and little pictures as well if you want to you don't you know if you want a stage where he has an arrow and he's using a bow and arrow that would be fine you could put the little draw it on there and if you're using the sword or the dagger you know you can draw those on they're quite it's, it just makes it livens it up for you as well makes it a bit more interesting and it hopefully it will give you the chance to when you're writing it then to put the language really you know encourage you to describe that blade or you know sharp as we said it was sharp as daggers but it, but it could be you know um you know you can really extend those i can never think when i'm talking um but we you know you could use those um uh oh i've really lost it now you could use those um those ideas from your from your pictures and your notes as well so what you've got to do today is you've got to write your notes using the past tense of the whole labour. So you want to see the whole of this um, this plan done, this story mountain that you're going to use. So it needs to have a beginning and it needs to have an ending. So don't work, you know, for, for ages and ages on the whole thing and then find that you just drop off towards the end because you don't know what's happening. It's better to put in a little bit here and there and get a full thing rather than half and then give up, okay? Because it's just notes you're writing you should include two settings so a description of perhaps a part on the journey where he's maybe getting fed up because he can't even find the beast or where he might get distracted by something in a certain setting it might be too gorgeous to leave and then he's got to trudge on um, or it could be the the palace at the end okay so put those in so when you're writing your uh, your uh, your labour tomorrow no not tomorrow yeah tomorrow it will be by then you you will be able to um, remember to put those settings in also you're going to be describing that beast as well because you're going to be describing what he looks like using all that lovely um, description that you had for it the other day so use your notes that you've been great you know you've been working really hard this week so that will be the time to use them and refer back to them tomorrow so you give yourself a little reminder you're going to need to have a battle event. You should write a battle event. It shouldn't just be, oh, you know, he saw it, he, he uh, ran away. He's got to have some sort of, you know, uh, real um, problem going on that he gets over. You could use time conjunctions. You've had some of those to start with. You've got some nice examples there in your book already. Um, and you can use prepositions, which we had to look at last Friday. You know, if you're going to describe you know um, the place that it's in use those in your settings as well um, you know give your uh, reader a really good idea of where things are so here's a really nice um, uh, trusted story mountain and it shows you the opening the build up the problem at the top of the mountain and then it starts to get put right here um, you know and, and there's success in the story and then it has a final sort of ending you're going to have your main characters who sets the task here. It's going to definitely be in ancient times. You could have be a nice starter actually in ancient Greek time, in ancient Greece. Um, the setting, the place it's happening in, and you can describe those on wherever you want to put your settings in. It could be in the actual wherever the the fight is happening, or it could be at the end. Really, entirely up to you where you put your settings. You can do more as well. It's no, that's not that's not, you know, um, that's not the the maximum. So you want to build up the excitement, you've got to start to talk about the events that are happening, give them clues, give your reader clues as to what he might be looking for. There might be, you know, shall I go in there, he might talk to himself, shall I go in there, start doubting whether or not he should. He's then going to start arguing and fighting with the, um, with the beast, unfortunately, or fortunately he might slip and it get really touch and go whether or not he's going to survive. And then, he, you know... Um, hopefully then you'll start to get a resolution and he'll be maybe a little bit lucky what he's doing um so you're going to resolve it which means every, you know he's going to finally kill the beast or take whatever he needs from the beast depending on your um depending on your uh the task that he's actually been set because it doesn't have to be just kill the beast it could be to get something from the beast or to find some jewels in the cave that he's with or something like that you know you've got to have this perhaps a mystical thing or a magical thing that you might be wanting to get that the, the king has um, tasked you with and you're definitely going to need an ending where he goes back to the king I would think that would be the ending 
So here he is again. King Yuri wants Hercules to do another task. Who gives him the task? You've got to get this into your um, mountain. Where are they? Where does he start doing the task? Where does he need to get to? Does he go to the mountains? Does he go to the sea? Where Where, where is he aiming for? Set the story up. You've got to have your build up. His journey to get there really builds up the fact that he's, you know, it's a struggle to get there even. The beast, when you come across the beast, you might want a sound that he might hear, that he'll recognise, or he might there might be a certain stinky smell or something that he can catch or catch hold of. Um, maybe you can make your reader jump with scared, you know, with fright, with scaredness, and then you hit your problem where he's got to fight or he's going to get what he needs from the uh, from the beast. Then you might have a magical threat, so um, you're going to find that weakness, maybe um, get over it uh, another way. Then he's going to prove that he's actually going to, don't forget you've got to take something back to the king to make sure he can prove that he has finished um, his task. And here's another one, so we've got in the rich wondrous palace of King, king Yuri, Hercules is given the last task, kill the whatever it is, suck, scratch or whatever I call mine, bring me the magical potion of goodness, or, or for, you know, living forever. Hercules even struggled to reach the beast's lair over mountains, uh, that's a preposition there, across a broken bridge. Then there was the beast setting, it was dangerous and cold and he heard a horrific sound as he got nearer. There was the hugest beast he's ever seen, I'm going to describe him there. So he was slippery and it was he had a poisonous skin or it's something awful and his his sword was melted because the skin was so awful then he realized that the beast didn't like daylight i'm thinking i'm coming across our light and um, light and dark topic for our science and he used a glint of reflection from the entrance and it blinded him and pushed him out of the way he then collected the magical thing, perhaps it was a potion or something, maybe some poison from his skin, um, and travelled back and gave the body or the potion to the king to prove that he'd done it. Some nice time conjunctions while he fought, as he climbed down, when, when he got nearer. Okay, so here is your final little um, task. I've been through this in the in the in the video that I've just shown you, so there's nothing new for you here. It's just if you want to go back and have another look at it, you know where this is in the video. Okay, so I hope you really crack this today and get this lovely story mountain done with lots of detail on it. As I said, it doesn't have to be in, in full sentences. Get your little notes out, put some pictures on it, and really give it some today. Because then, if that's really good, your writing will be fantastic um, on Thursday. Okay, brilliant. Hope that goes really well. And uh, bye for now.